Man, it's funny how things work out. I had just gotten out of class, had come home, done a few things, and then decided I need to go to work, touch up on some things from the job. Lo and behold, who do I see there but Coach Richie, gymnastics coach, shout out. And he's there, his son is graduating eighth grade. They were having a little party to celebrate the end of the year, which is pretty cool. He had a friend who was there as well, a guy by the name of Kent Rufo. He was wearing a shirt that said Swahoo on it. Interesting, because I'd been down there a couple weeks ago. Turns out that he's actually the missions guy down at the school there. It's like, you can't predict this stuff. I happen to be there at this time to see them there, and he happened to be here visiting as well. It's crazy. You already know. We get into the missions discussion, and the very questions that he's asking and that we're discussing are the same exact things that we're talking about for my class earlier in the day. It was crazy. What's the point of mission? Why do we go? How do we inspire people to go? How do we build good community with student missionaries that have returned so that we can uh, build up the programs for future missionaries, prospective missionaries to go? Uh, how do we develop the community in terms of events that we do throughout the year to keep people plugged in and included to let them know that just because you come back doesn't mean y'all have all disappeared. It was a fascinating opportunity and a really cool discussion that we were able to have. And it's one of those things that just says, you know what, right place, right time. You're doing the thing you're supposed to do. You're having the conversations you're supposed to have. You're meeting the people you're supposed to meet. I don't know where this stuff goes in the future, but we were able to exchange some contact info to link up. Man, God is doing something. I don't know where this stuff goes, but it's exciting to know that you know guys in control and having some influence in my process one of the things that we talked about kind of the global perspective of mission and what the church expects from missionaries who go especially from sending organizations how there's some flack that they may receive for example take adra one of the biggest organizations within the church i think it's adventist disaster response relief association something like that adra they go around and they do more humanitarian type work in different places in the world what's interesting is that even though it's an adventist organization they're not allowed to proselytize well i'll say that differently they don't openly proselytize or share the gospel message in places where they go because it would limit the access that they have in these places to go and do it so they end up going from a very servant position or perspective and people know that they're Adventist. People may be curious about the Adventist presence and the people and why they're there, but it's not something that they're bringing up and saying, hey, I'm an Adventist and you should be one too. Some people within the church and some people within the different systems, some other Adventists, some other people out there got a problem with it. And they think that you're not doing enough because you're not doing this piece as well. But what was interesting, as we discovered in our conversation, places that have had Adra be a presence there and set up these things with the community, like providing water, building wells, helping develop schools, helping refugees, all these different things. Places where Adra's had a presence before, just in doing simple humanitarian and social type work, always have greater response when missionaries follow up later. It's interesting because what does that really tell us? Well, for one, because God looks at time and his mission in a different way than we do, maybe I'm not going to be the one that accomplishes the start, the finish, and everything in between of God's mission to a certain place or a certain people. Maybe even a certain person. I can tell you from my experience in canvassing, there were maybe two or three occasions in the eight summers and the three years full time that I did it where we ever heard somebody who received a book from one of our canvassers meet up with that same canvasser years later when they were getting baptized. Super rare. So we know this, right? But yet there's still some kind of upsetness that people are getting with people who are only doing one part of the process because it's not enough. Hmm. Where do we really fit into this thing? And what does it say about what we might need to learn about how we do mission? Are we trying to do too much in too short of a span? Are we trying to force feed something where a place may not be ready for it yet? Have we tried to respect the people for the sake of them being people first as opposed to just trying to go in guns blazing and saying hey y'all need this gospel message instead of the water that you might need instead of the food that you might need instead of the clothes that you might need you know what's funny that sounds an awful lot like what jesus said he would say to people at the end of time and it's like some of them he would say he knew because you did those types of things for him. And others he said he wouldn't know because they skipped out on those opportunities. So what's really important? Can't put the cart in front of the horse, right? Maybe that's something we need to remember. And maybe it opens up the doors for more people who want to do mission in different kinds of ways because they want to participate more on this front instead of the other front. You can still leave a good example without ever saying a word. These people know who you are. Very fascinating. And I, I think that it opens up the picture to say, hey, how are we looking at this thing? 
and how can we be beneficial in different ways without having to do too much at once. I think it's probably safe to say God is playing a long game so we can play along with that and do our part when we can, where we can, and not try to do everything all at once. We should probably follow his example, seeing that he's the one that's running this whole thing anyway. Interesting, but we'll catch up because that was only the beginning. Who knows what comes next? <laughs> I don't, but it's the Buff Missionary. We out here, and I'll catch you in the next one. We out. Peace.